Radio Grade 12 EGD learners, I'm excited for this video because I'm going to do a quick overview detailing what is the requirements for your floor plans for the civil pad. So we're going to start on page 11 of the pad document and I'm just going to highlight with you a couple of things that are very much important. Okay, so you can please watch my previous videos to see the details on selecting your free hands, drawing your free hands and coming up to this point where we're going over into the presentation requirements which is phase two. Okay, so important here is that all the drawings from now on must be presented on an appropriately sized drawing sheet which is ladies and gentlemen A3 okay with correct borders all right now I'm going to show you some examples of this but only the first page which will be the floor plan needs to have a full title panel complete civil title panel please watch the previous episode to see how and what the requirements is of that civil title panel so only your floor plan needs that the rest of them just the border with your name page number, title of the drawing, and the date. All right, the drawings must provide clear evidence that a high level of competency has been attained. Of course, remember, you guys are now grade 12, so it can't look like your little sister made this high level of competency. And I'm specifically focusing on the instrument drawings, just because not all schools here offer SCAD. So this discussion will be based on the instrument drawings. Rightio, so let's look at page 12 then and we're going to zoom in here on what is required so first things first draw to a suitable scale okay a de detailed layout drawing of the selected freehand solution that is ladies and gentlemen a floor plan okay suitable scale here is going to be one to a hundred okay if that doesn't fit on the page because of your design you can go to one to 150 but please don't do 1 to 110 or 1 to 120 that's not going to be appropriate i'm definitely sure none of you will do one out of 200 that's going to be too small so try and stick here to scale one to a hundred please all right with that said you've got your freehand solution and that must now include the complete building including the timber deck clearly showing all required building features i'm going to make the list shortly that's going to highlight that all right the layer drawing must show the following orthographic views so the first one that's being addressed in this video is the complete floor plan this is to such a standard that if we give the floor plan to a contractor they must be able to go out and actually build your design in other words all the measurements, all the different requirements for that floor plan must be indicated on it. My next video will do the elevation sections, etc. But this year, this area is going to be relevant for you. Let's quickly look at that. All exterior features, including door and window detail. In other words, the actual window design, the door design, that includes your window sill. Exterior features, um, that's going to be on our floor plan where we indicate our drainage. Okay. Windows and door frames for your internal and external walls. Make sure uh, you add the door frames in that drawing. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be two elevations. We'll look at that later. The roof detail. So in, in your floor plan, that is the actual roof line. That must be indicated. Um, you're not going to do all the permanent fixtures. That's, for instance, all the bathroom fixtures, your kitchen cupboards, built-in cupboards, etc. People... Permanent fixtures is not your tables and your chairs. Please take note of that. All electrical fittings must be indicated. The wiring detail must be indicated. Your wastewater disposal system, that you need to indicate on this. Titles of every room. The labels. Is it a carpet? Is it a tile? Any additional notes that's going to go. These notes are going to go in your actual title panel on the side. Your scale, which will be 1 to 100. Detail dimensioning. All dimension you can't leave out any dimension here i'm going to show you examples in a moment the cutting plane must be indicated all hatching detail for your walls and ladies and gentlemen the north point that is your checklist your other checklist that you have to pay attention to is found on page 14 of your pad document which is right here okay so what are they going to look at first of all that page of your floor plan is going to be numbered 5.1.1 that's important 
The title of that page will be floor plan. Okay. Does it correlate with your selected freehand solution and the selection process that you did on the previous page, which we just did in the previous video? So make sure you look at that. But does it correlate? They're going to assess, does your actual final solution look like your final freehand concept uh, uh, proposal? Did you include all the internal and external walls? Is the roof lines visible? All doors, remember here goes the door frames as well. Windows, which include the window sills. All the permanent fixtures, I've made a list of that already. The lockers, which is built in cupboards. Your um, bathrooms, your toilets, your uh, stove, all of that. Uh, did you include the small indoor pool? All electrical fittings with the wiring. L title labels and notes, which I just explained, and the detail I'm mentioning. Hatching detail of the inner and outer walls. The cutting plane, a lot of learners forget that. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. Do you have your cutting plane indicated? And the placement of that cutting plane is going to determine your section elevation. So make sure that is done wisely. And then the suitable scale selected, did you do it 1, 200? Did you correctly indicate it and the north point? All of that is going to be added up and divided by 2 to give you a mark out of 10. Let me show you a couple of examples. Righto, here we go with our first example i hope you can see this clearly all right remember of course this example is not what you're designing this was a previous pet but all the different components is clearly visible on this all right so first things first you must have a clear border going all around there's going to be your title block as in as i explained in my previous videos make sure you look at that you're going to have all of that in here all right then you're going to go and you're going to draw up your floor plan. Make sure, first of all, you have to plan this on a separate page because it needs to fit in nice and snug within the designated area. You still need to leave place for your actual detailed dimensions on the outside of this drawing. Okay. And then you're going to have your external walls, your internal walls. You're going to have your room designations clearly marked with a surface uh, floor area. One thing that's missing in this example is Kindly indicate whether that's carpet or um, tiles, etc. Your light fittings, your um, fixtures, your window detail. You see the sill there with the numbering. Your door openings with its door frames. All right. This was also with a deck. The pillars on that deck, in, they should be hatching in those pillars. Okay. Your actual roof line should be indicated. On, the, on this side, there was the actual sewer that must be indicated. What's missing here is the fact that there should be an inspection eye and on the end here a rotting eye all right pay attention to that detail make sure you get your layouts of your bathrooms correctly using the sun's conventions for the different fixtures as well as in your bathrooms etc or your kitchens all right let me page to another example which is hopefully a bit clearer again we're going to go with the overview we've got our border here title block on the one side and then the actual drawing Okay, you can see here, there's a lot of detail going in this drawing. So it's going to take you some, some time to get this done 100%. Okay, that's much better. So let's look at this from the bottom up. All right, you can see here, this was of course the Afrikaans child, but you've got your sewer detail on this floor plan clearly indicated with its labels. We've got the roof line indicated. We've got the uh, gullies, the rainwater downpipes indicated. We've got clear, neat windows positioned, hatching. You've got your internal walls with even details at the actual door frames. Your door opening, the actual door, the numbering of that door. Okay, you've got your light fittings in the middle with your switches all the way through. If you look closely, you'll find even the DB board there. You don't see any tables or chairs drawn here or beds, or whatever. Remember, this is only permanent fixtures that goes into this drawing. Then, let's have a look at the actual measurements that's indicated here on the side. Okay, it's in detail. Remember, your measurement always on the left-hand side, always in millimeters. And you have your shortest distances closer to the drawing, and the longer ones further spaced. Okay, and of course, if I add all of these up, it must correspond with the longer Measurement, I'll zoom out now for you to see that. All right, they also had some form of a deck here and walkway that you can take some time to look at um, the different door openings. There's a sliding door. I'm going to show you in a moment how that, um, this is just a normal sliding door. I'll just show you in a moment a stacking doors design. 
Um, what else is there that's important on this one? Make sure it's again clearly labeled. There you have it, 5.1.1, and the label with a scale indicated correctly. All right, let me zoom out here a little bit. All right, and then, of course, um, in this example, there was an area calculation, the different areas, and made sure that the calculation of that area is within the scope that was prescribed. Okay, that's an overview. Hold on, here comes a stacking door. Radio, here's another floor plan. This is really nice and clear for you to see. But there is an opportunity uh, to also look at how a stacking door was designed. So it's basically a zigzag. And again, the opening direction. There's also a door frame indicated there. All right. So that's some of the symbolism that you can use also in your drawings if you're doing stacking doors. All right. With that said, this is it. This is an overview of the floor plan. My next video will talk about elevations. Thank you for watching and good luck. Now it's your turn.